What's going on everybody? We are out here in the Dayton area today. So we came out here yesterday. Um, this job was actually a non-scene site. Uh, just gave the customer a daily price. Uh, once I got here, uh, we kind of looked at everything and we realized that we had to um, definitely bring the mini in. So can't see too well. I was able to mulch this whole area out, scrub this area for the most part yesterday um, but there's some there's a ravine here it starts right here this is the drainage starts to drop off here and then it really drops off right here so when you're mulching on an edge like this you don't want to get too close obviously when you got about 15 16 thousand pounds of equipment right here on the edge um, so anytime we run into this I uh, just told the customer, like, hey, if you really want things to be clean, we need to need to bring the mini in. Everything on this edge here, we're going to come in with the mini and pull all this out. And thankfully, with this one, um, the customer is actually going to uh, regrade and resod their entire yard uh, next spring. So you're, you can see what I was able to do yesterday. This honeysuckle was... All the way out to about here so we already cleared close to about 20 feet or so um, but all this stuff on the edge really can't reach with the mulcher so we're going to get all this honeysuckle kind of right on this lip with the mini pull it back out to the the mulching area here and get this all mulched up for them so yeah that's the goal for today uh, we'll start kind of on this edge back here right here is where we're stopping this this oak right here is kind of our, our stopping point. So we're gonna come in here, get all this pulled out and get this real clean. So let's get started.
All right, guys, we got everything pretty much scrubbed out of here. There's a few little things that we got to touch up with the chainsaw. Got this area all scrubbed out, pile for the mulcher. And you can see we got everything staged up on this right side here. Um, where the grass is here is kind of where the yard was previously. We're going to try to stay off of that as much as we can. But like I said earlier, uh, the landowner is actually coming back through here next spring and redoing the entire backyard and front yard actually. Um, they got some moles and potholes and stuff, so we're actually going to come back and kill off all this grass, Harley rake it all, and then reseed it all next spring. So this is a great time to get this done right now. We're in December right now, second week of December. Um, so we can kind of come in here and tear some stuff up make it look as good as we can but then next spring we're gonna come back through and redo all this so the harley rake is great for that just kind of put this mulch right back into the soil and yeah so you can see all this here this is all done everything staged and ready for the mulcher for the most part there's a few areas over here we got to touch up with the chainsaw taking this osage orange down i ripped off as many limbs as i could that stuff is wicked hard so we'll finish that off with a chainsaw and yeah so we're getting close to being done with this one and we'll get on the mulcher and get all this cleaned up
right guys we are all done here so finished up mulching like i said we had to do a little bit of chainsaw touch up um, but for the most part got everything stacked up some of this osage here he's going to use that for some firewood That's some good burning stuff so this is the main section here see that and that's what everything used to look like so yeah it's uh definitely getting getting pretty thick he might have us come back and do this section back here at some point uh, yeah so got this all done and this side section back here So yeah, this will definitely look real nice when he gets these dead ash out of here. I guess he had a tree company come through and top everything for him just so they wouldn't be in danger of hitting the house. Um, but he's going to cut all these down for firewood here. He's got one, two, three, four of them. So yeah, once he gets those out of here, this will look real nice. But definitely uh, better than what it was before, getting all these invasives out. Um, he's going to come back through and... We're gonna try to decide on some some different ground cover options. We're probably gonna come through here with the Harley rake at some point next year, once all this kind of decomposes over the winter. Um, and then from there, we're gonna decide whether we want to do some um, this cool season, more of a, a deep rooted cool season grass, um, just to kind of help hold this embankment. You can see we actually found an old sprinkler line. There's that. So this actually used to be yard, but you can see year by year, it's just slowly chipping away. You can see that honeysuckle down there actually is recently probably just fallen off. So yeah, big improvement. We've pretty much doubled the size of this backyard now. So come spring, we'll get this all worked into the soil, get some grass on here and be good to go. So, all right guys, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and give us a subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. Peace.